who accused of carrying China's water after official refuses to acknowledge Taiwan during bizarre interview. He was asked whether the organization would consider Taiwan's membership. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear your question, Ivan, Aylward responded. Okay, let me repeat the question, she said. No, that's okay. Let's move to another one then, the WHO official told her. Speech 100. Politics aside, how does an experienced physician giving a news interview decide that faking internet issues was the best way to avoid a difficult question? When someone first showed this to me I refused to believe it was anything but edited satire. Edit, at my municipal public health organization, even our low-level management is required to take media training. I'm just surprised that an organization as big as WHO failed to properly equip this doctor to deal with such a popular political talking point. Damn, he played the student in online class called to recite but doesn't know the answer escape card. SKSKSKHSFKS Internet Issues SKSKSKSKSHSH Direct link to video HTTPS colon slash slash Twitter com slash world city slash status slash one two four three eight six five six four one four four eight one six nine four seven four and Taiwan has two coronavirus related deaths a model for all nations to follow the who has since deleted his page from their website supposedly making it seem like he is not an important fixture in the organization archive link https colon slash slash web archive org slash web slash two zero two zero zero three zero three one two four five zero one slash https slash slash www who in slash dg slash adg slash alward slash n slash https colon slash slash web archive org slash web slash two zero two zero zero three zero three one two four five zero one slash https slash slash www who in slash dg slash adg slash alward slash n slash china we officially have no new cases of coronavirus the world but taiwan and hong kong do so are you saying they're not a part of China? China. How is Taiwan doing with the virus? Ya yeah, no, all of China is doing a pretty good job. What a fucking cunt. 75 years. Republic of China and the People's Republic of China have been separate governments and territories for 75 years. The world needs to face reality and stop giving way to authoritarians. Taiwan has had democratic elections for more than 30 years. The free world needs to support Taiwan and the rest need to face reality. Oceania Australia, New Zealand and Free East Asia need to form a NATO and European Union equivalent and stop bending over backwards for China. Winnie the Pooh must be giving them some honey on the side. And yet everyone still believes China's coronavirus numbers they're giving us. This is also the same guy who downplayed asymptotic carriers which is just utter stupidity and was just used to defend the numbers in China. This guy is completely just a mouthpiece for China at this point. I'm pretty fucking sure Bruce is actually trying to make who look bad. It would have been much better to just say no or even repeat the same old unfortunately the who adhere strictly to the one China policy but we recognized the efforts of Chinese people in Taiwan in combating the virus. And you'll find all over Reddit people awed by China and their coronavirus case numbers hovering around 80,000 for weeks now while everyone else is reporting hundreds to thousands of cases daily. They are straight up 100% lying or just stop testing people. From what I understand, any country can simply disregard who entirely without any real consequences. Who needed to be in China's good graces otherwise they risked partial or complete lack of cooperation from China because they got offended, and we all know China gets offended very easily. I think they just wanted to play their cards right, not that it mattered anyway. The virus is everywhere now. Insane. In light of Italy's numbers and what we are learning about the virus from global spread, whose praise of China and CCP's number reporting all seem untruthful. I have no evidence but it smells like China and who downplayed the danger and thus exposed to world to this virus.
Remember that when the outbreak was in its infancy who stressed that travel bans were unwarranted and would damage the economy more than help and coronavirus would not spread too much. Bunch of fucking kiss asses. What a bootlicker. Just shows how much soft power the US has lost that we can't even get our narrative through the UN. Removed. Given how much they've been praising China for their response, the WHO has lost a ton of credibility. If you aren't Chinese, stop pretending Taiwan doesn't fuck exist. Not just refuses to acknowledge Taiwan, but explicitly responds to a question about Taiwan by saying well we've already discussed China, and the various areas of China, that's not just refusing to acknowledge, that's explicitly declaring that he considers Taiwan to be part of China. That is, at best, racist ignorance. But I given the initial dodge, I suspect it is not merely that, the who are probably terrified of China, a huge chunk of the world's population, dropping out and disavowing them, it's understandable. But when China is already allegedly lying to the who, what's the point in keeping them as members? It seems like it would do more harm than good to have disinformation being injected into your organization on a regular basis, right? Don't mention China or they will make another donation to Reddit. The WHO has been a total shit show from the start, I cannot take anything they say seriously. What a fucking mess, we need a new health organization that we can actually get help from. Hasn't anyone realized that China is slowly taking over the world, removed. This crisis is so bad for China's acceptance and brand in the world, all of this will have an impact with the average consumer for a long time. I think that made in China will now be hard to market anywhere, especially the Americas and Europe. I was going to make a tongue-in-cheek comment, but then the WHO officials really are giving the CCP a good brown tonguing so I don't have to. Removed. What a piece of shit. And fuck the destroyed, sabotaged organization for allowing this. Who has no business recognizing or not recognizing any country or territory? He fucked up the execution, but the WHO isn't who decides who gets recognized or not. They are an apolitical arm of a political entity, and need cooperation from all their members, and non-members. So what if he went for the bait? Yes, we just need China to stop their oppression of Taiwan. Then what? China gets even worse in cooperating with the WHO and everyone loses. Who does not and should not involve themselves in this? Doesn't. China pretty much own WHO. The original video from RTHK, HTTPS colon slash slash you do. B slash RLVG zero and coup. Skip to 1915 for the interview but I will highly recommend you all to watch the whole thing to know more about the virus in Hong Kongers perspective. Considering my partner's office in New York officially closed while the Taiwan office has yet to do to Corona I'd say they're doing alright. Thank God this video is getting out. Although I doubt mainstream news will cover it. I thought it would be buried in the depths of our slash conspiracy when I first saw it. Well. Okay then, let's call Taiwan the one and only China. But now rename mainland to Cuntland, problem solved, Taiwan is finally China. What a great way to make the world trust the WHO even fucking less. Every time I see someone mention that the WHO is bought and paid for slash corrupted by Chinese influence, it's been met with a chorus of gaslighters claiming that the person saying it is either a paranoid conspiracy theorist and slash or racist. Hopefully this opens some people's eyes. The root cause of the problem is, once again the Chinese government, a cancer to this planet. CCP held his family hostage. Chinese money is corrupting information outside of China now. Seriously just fuck the who and fuck China. Sensible people and countries need to draw a line in the sand, right now. If someone is a PRC apologist, they are an enemy of everything good on this planet. Treat them like what they are. Taiwan is the place with the best response to the situation. They closed the border early, implemented quarantine, stopped exporting medical supplies, until they now have a surplus to help others. Imo Taiwan should be leading the WHO, but they are in fact not even allowed to be a member of the WHO. Because of mainland China. Countries around the world should stop trusting this malfunctioning organization.